hi everyone i am doing well i hope you are fine too today i'm sharing the night views of our backyard and this being our first summer with a covered patio and also after the tornado i'm just i just want to share the experience we have right now and what we have gone through Unfortunately, some of our plants didn't survive the recent tornado and our vacation absence. We went away uh, for about four nights to Orlando and when we came back, we found some of our plants are already dead. This may be due to too much heat or they got affected earlier because of the tornado. Anyway, but... Uh, what's at the good side of it is just that uh, we are enjoying our outdoor more than indoor since uh, the patio was installed we are spending more time in the evening outside though the insects <laughs> disturb us at times but um, we do enjoy the cool breeze some of the uh, plants which uh, died included uh, our Mongolia tree it was just right there where this new plant is this is a red bud a tree we uh, installed it a few days ago after the Mongolia couldn't make it so the Mongolia is still in the pot hoping it will come back again it's so sad to just throw it away like that after spending some money buying tree we really want a tree in a big tree in our backyard but it seems we are not having any joy with the plants before we had um, a cherry blossom tree it managed to bear fruits on that same spot but came uh, winter it couldn't make it and just it just died so we don't know whether it's this particular spot which is affecting our trees or is just the timing of the year but we'll keep on trying until we give up so that's the red bud tree is still quite fresh in the backyard and uh, you can see more uh, flowers here I think I once showed this one before uh, just repositioned uh, on a different spot that's the rose knockout there's one at the far end over there closer to the elephant plant and as you can see the grass is, is now greener than it was before the last time I shared the video even the elephant's ear flower it wasn't as big as this when I last showed you it had just recovered from the uh, winter but once the uh, temperature starts warming up it just grows quite fast uh, before you know it it's almost four inches tall we are pleased to have it, it comes on and off at least uh, it comes back and we don't have to put any effort much effort in maintaining it and those are some of the plants which uh, couldn't make it because of the tornado and uh, high temperatures as well, I guess. And this one is still thriving, but we hope it will survive uh, this heat. Uh, we'll see. We'll keep on uh, checking on it and make sure it's more. It has good moisture. And this other one, I don't remember the name as well. You can see. It's all already dead, but we can't just un unplug it. We'll keep it there until it's completely dead. Or it may come back, you never know. <laughs> Miracles do happen. We don't know what's happening underground there. So these are solar lights. They just enhance um, the beauty of the backyard and also helps when someone is walking around the sidewalk during the night. You'll be able to see a little bit uh, um, more than as compared to when you don't have a light at all. So over there, there is a 
grill the ninja grill and um, uh, air fryer this is so much fun I've shared some videos uh, using the grill and we are enjoying it over here is a, a bed feeder okay I'll come back to it uh, later on but um, yeah so these fans are, are bringing lots of cool breeze when they are blowing uh, the air outside which uh, makes uh, it more enjoyable when you're sitting down there and, uh, we tend to use this right side of the patio is uh, the cinema uh, a spot where we watch our, our movies or anything we want to watch uh, outside that's how we do it and um, yeah it's uh, just bringing so much joy and this spot I like it so much I like uh, setting up the dining area uh, but at times uh, during the day the flies disturb but uh, when it's uh, evening time it's only the mosquitoes but not as much that uh, green container has uh, an, a mosquito repellent this helps uh, just deter the mosquitoes away oh sorry I forgot to mention uh, the bed feeder uh, beds do come around and try to eat uh, uh, the food from the bed, uh, bed feeder but we don't uh, get to go outside to see them we just peep through the window and watch them from afar this is so much fun and the kids really love it and it's nice just enjoying nature uh, while even indoors or when you're out there so for the beds we don't want to disturb them, them until they get used to us so we just peep through and try to take videos uh, through the window so that they won't run away and the bed sound is so oh, therapeutic thank you so much for watching i hope you continue watching my videos and add comments if you have any suggestions thank you once again